Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about urea plasma. Urea plasma is a bacteria that can colonize the genital tracts. And um, most patients that are new that come through the office, they'll hear me talk about obtaining um, cervical cultures to rule out urea plasma. And I get the question often, what is urea plasma? Urea plasma is a type of bacteria that does not have a cell wall and can present a problem. Um, it is also known as an opportunistic bacteria, meaning that it can survive in the genital tract without causing any symptoms until it's out of balance or overgrows or the body's immune system is weak. Most of the times, patients don't even have any symptoms and they may not even know they have it. Um, it has been associated um, with patients who have difficulty getting pregnant, especially the variant of it known as urea plasma, urea lyticum. The one that's called urea plasma parvum is not so much associated with infertility. It can be found in up to 15% of men who also have difficulty with infertility. When it does cause a symptom, when it's overgrows or there's an imbalance of the immune system, it may cause a, what is called a urethritis, which is inflammation of the urethra um, or the tube that carries urine from your bladder um, out to the body, and that causes burning on irritation. Sometimes may, pay, may have um, caused uh, what is also known as bacterial vaginitis, vagi vag bacterial vaginitis. In some patients, it's also linked to endometritis or infection of the endometrial um, lining of the uterus. It can be associated with prostatitis, which is an inflammation of the prostate glands. Very rarely, it's also associated with uh, kidney stone formation. Now, for patients who have uh, urea plasma who um, are pregnant and deliver, they can infect their newborn child. And in the newborn, it can cause pneumonia, um, it can cause meningitis um, or brain injury. It can also cause lung problems or breathing problems when the babies kind of breathe it in through their lungs. If the fetus is infected bef uh, before uh, birth during pregnancy, um, it can lead to premature uh, rupture of the membranes or preterm labor. In extremely rare cases, can uh, cause uh, stillbirth. How is it treated? Usually a, a swab will detect it or a urine sample.